Hi there. So this is the fourth and last video of this series that I'm sharing with you. And in the first one, I talked about uh, those ideas, the idea of being too much. And I talked about rage and how um, we get to feel all our feelings. Um, and it's okay. In the second video, I talked about uh, not being enough and not being good enough and the long list of shoulds that uh, tends to come with those. And then in the third video, I talked about shame and how insidious it is, how it can actually kill us, how, um, how it is everywhere in every aspect of our lives, how there is nothing um, that isn't, doesn't seem to be tainted by shame. Um, and, uh, and I talked a little bit about how we can start to move past the shame, I guess. Uh, I hate saying release because I don't, Maybe that is the right word. I'm not sure. Um, by voicing it, by voicing our feelings, by connecting to ourselves, by giving our experience voice and breath and, um, and speaking our truth, right? Um, and today I'm going to talk about this next circle that I am offering and give you a little bit of history about where it came from. So um, as many of you know, I have a circle that is in process right now called Awakening Our Woman Line. And it is about connecting to the women who came before us and who live within us and, and how all their stories impact us and impact who we are. And, um, and connecting to not only their stories of wounding and, and, um, and pain and so on, but, and also connecting to their strength and their power and, uh, and healing some of those wounds that we carry within us. And as I was developing that circle, as I was gathering, um, for that circle, several people came and it was, it's in, it's, it was a higher cost circle, um, for a variety of reasons. And several people came to me and said, um, how, like, I can't afford this. And I always offer partial scholarships to any of my circles. And I don't always advertise that. And, um, I am not, and that's, that's my own like weird crap. Um, and it's part of what's taught to us uh, in the marketing world, right? That you don't, you know, you, you have your cost and it's a hard line and blah, 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 right? And, and anyways, the point is that I kind of came to this like come to Jesus moment, so to speak, of why do I do this work? And how am I feeding what Kelly Deals calls the female empowerment brand, right? How am I feeding the shame? And how do I not feed the shame and still feed my family, right? So this is something I is that is work in progress and that I am still um, I'm closing out a couple of stupid pop-ups um, that I'm still figuring out. It's work in progress. I'm a work in progress. We're all works in progress. Um, and what came out of it as I was really sitting with this and thinking about this was how insidious shame is, right? How much it feeds us. And for every person who was able to come forward to me and say, I can't afford your circle. Can I have a partial scholarship? For every person who did that, how many who really wanted to do this work, how many felt too ashamed to come forward and ask about that? I don't know. I don't know what the number is, right? I'll, ne I'll never know that number. So shame fed that, right? Shame feeds the inability to be able to come forward and say, 
I can't afford this and I want to do this work. What what can we do? Like, you know, right? I've been in that place myself where I can't afford work that I really want to do personal you know, my own work, my own stuff that I really want to do. I've not been able to afford therapists. I've not been able to afford, um, you know, marketing work. I've not been able to afford like all these fancy things that we're supposed to have for our business. I've not, right. I mean, like I get, I get not having money. Right? I get needing to feed our families first. And I also understand how deeply important this work is, how deeply important it is to look at these stories of being too much, of not enough, of all the shame that we carry within us, because it it impacts who we are, right? Right? All the shame that we carry about, and okay, all the shame that I carried about yelling at my kid, then fed the shame because I yelled at my kid. Right? And then I'm a crappy mom. I'm not good enough. Right? On and on and on. Right? And it fed itself. Fed itself. Fed itself. Until I got to the place of... <sighs> okay? I yelled. Wish I hadn't yelled. I'm not a horrible person. I'm not a crappy mom. I shouldn't go die. Right? These were... those. That was an actual thought that went through my mind when I had postpartum depression. In the early years of my daughter's life. Um, and early weeks of my son's, uh, I got treatment quicker with him. <laughs> uh, and the shame, right? It feeds us over and over and over. And then it's fed more because we can't afford to do the work to move past that shame, to process it, to let it go, to see it for what it is, for speak to speak our voice, right? So I decided, you know what? Let's do this work. Let's do this work. I literally came up with the like idea on a Tuesday, I think. I posted to my Facebook page, is anybody interested? I want at least 10 people to be interested. It'll be a lower cost thing. It'll be like 39 bucks. If you can't afford that, just let me know. Lots of partial scholarships, blah, blah, blah. I had more than 10 people say, I'm interested. And I said, okay, we're gonna do it. So I created the circle because clearly there's the want and need to do this work. And it is deep work and it is hard work and it's not fun work right? So I have figured out how can I do this work, right? How can I provide this guiding work for others and, um, and not, and, and still be able to feed my family, right? So, and I'll talk about the partial scholarship piece in a minute. Um, so it's, it's going to be intense work and it's going to be, I decided I'm going to make it much slower paced than all my other circles in the past, most of my, uh, almost all, I'm pretty sure almost all of my other circles, I have at least three emails a week that go out. Um, I've decided for exploring our shadows, there will be one email and there will be one exercise, uh, two, there'll be a writing prompts and then another exercise or video, depending on, uh, where we are. Um, each week, just the one. The writing prompts will be uh, one set of writing prompts that we're going to do every day. Just keep writing through them. And that helps us really get to the deeper core of that work, right? So this, in many ways, while it's a slower pace, it's going to help us really dive deeper in. There is a Facebook group. Uh, there'll be weekly discussion prompts for us to kind of dig into and play, play with this work a little bit in there in group to get support for us to be seen and heard and witnessed and for us to learn to see and hear and witness others. And there will be monthly calls, a monthly group call that, uh, will be scheduled once we're gathered, uh, and, uh, we kind of see who's available when, days and times. And um, and 
So there'll be the monthly call and it'll be over six months. We'll be looking at the stories of too much. We'll be looking at um, self-care and self-compassion. We'll be looking at the stories of not enough. We'll be looking at, again, self-compassion and our stories of worthiness and deserving. We'll be looking at shame. And then we'll kind of be tying it all to together and doing a closing sort of ritual over the last month. It's $39 per month and there are partial scholarships available. Now the way I do partial scholarships is you tell me what you can afford. I, I, and I accept it. So I have it be a discussion between us instead of just having it be a pay what you want, right, on my website. Because I want, I want us, I want you to be able to start to have that conversation, right? There's a lot of shame about money and not having enough money. There's there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of shame in there. And if we're able to start voicing it and saying, I can afford $15 a month for the six months, you make it up, right? And then the response is, okay, that's perfect. It gives me the opportunity to accept you where you are, right? It gives me the opportunity to let you see how it feels to be accepted for who you are and where you are. And that's what this work is about. And that's why I have the conversation instead of just putting up, pay what you want, right? It's more work for me to do this, to have these conversations, right? It's more, it's, it is, it's more work. And that's, that's okay because I want that connection, right? I want, this is part of this work is the connecting, right? Is the, is the feeling witnessed and acknowledged and being okay with where we are. And if we can't afford $39 a month for six months, we can't afford $39 a month for six months. I'm not going to question it and I'm not going to grill you and I'm not, you know, I don't need to see your finances or know what your tax return was or like, like, I don't care. I trust that you want to do this work and that you are going to value it and give me, pay me what you can afford to pay me without putting yourself into financial, extra financial stress and still honoring and respecting that I am working and I am providing something for you, right? So that's how my partial scholarships work. It's, I don't say it's easy. It's not easy. It's not easy to step forward and say, I can't afford $39 a month. $39 a month doesn't sound like a lot. And I fully recognize for some families it is a lot. I understand that. I don't have, I, I, I get it. There have been points in my family's life that $39 a month would have broken us. We couldn't have done it. That's not where we are right now this minute. We might end up there again. I don't know, right? So and I had to pick a number, right? I had to pick a number for this to be, um, to price this program. So if your family can't afford $39 a month, please reach out to me. And you want to do this work? Please reach out to me. Let's do this work. Let's figure it out. I'll create a special link for you to be able to register, right? I'll create that special PayPal link. It is not a big deal for me. It takes a minute or two. So seriously, let's have a conversation. If you want to do this work and you can't afford it, let's talk. So it's going to be deep work and it's, and it is a slower pace. And I really feel like that gives us the opportunity to go that much deeper into it. Um, 
it's stretched out over six months. In the past, my circles have been three months. Um, so this one is stretched out longer. You'll get less sensory input from me, right? Less stuff to do, to do, to do, because I don't, this isn't about the doing. This is really, I mean, there is some I, writing. I think the journaling is important. Um, I think the meditations will be important. I, you know, anything that I give you to do, I feel is important or else I wouldn't give it to you. And I don't want you overwhelmed with doing all the things, having to do all the things, right? That's not what I want for this. So if you're ready, if you want, if you are curious, if this sounds like work that really calls to you to dig into these stories, to start looking at this shame, to start letting go of it, and to start really acknowledging your worth, your value, and this is like, this is the crux of my work, I feel like, is for you to feel okay with who and where you are in your life. This doesn't mean you don't want more. It doesn't mean you don't want different, right? It's okay to want, right? It's okay to be in a wanting place. And just because you want different, more, whatever, doesn't mean that you're bad where you are now. You're okay. You're okay. And we're going to be okay. And we're going to start bucking the system a little bit, right? And we're going to start connecting to our voice. And we're going to start sharing our stories. And we're going to start recognizing how much the shame has impacted us in our lives and start processing through it and letting some of it go or saying fuck you to it. I mean, whatever, you know, letting go feels so like, I don't know, woo, woo I don't know, not even woo woo. It's not even woo woo. It feels so something. I don't even have the right words for it. But to process through it, to say fuck you to it, to say, you know what? I'm okay. I don't need to feel shame about, you know, having dishes in the sink. Like, who cares? Nobody. Nobody cares. Really. And if they care, fuck them. Like, seriously, they're their own shit. So, that's what this circle is about. We begin May 1st. We go through October 31st. So, we start on May Day. And we end on Halloween. That wasn't really super intentional actually it was just I was like okay may 1st in six months so that's through october um but it it feels symbolic in some ways so i'm i'm not really sure how that's going to play out but we'll see um one email a week a monthly call if you can join mm -hmm. us it would be great and um and they'll be recorded so they'll be shared with the group also and um Weekly email, monthly call. Weekly email, monthly call. Oh, and daily um, discussion prompts in the Facebook group. So I'd love to have you join. The link is in the email um, or uh, http colon slash slash gwenraymundy.com slash exploring. Uh, we'll take you to it. And um, and we begin on May 1. So I'd love to have you there. Mwah. Sending love. And uh, I hope to see you and talk with you soon.